I don't know about you guys, but I really enjoyed Career Week. <laughs> I'm sure you did. You have not stopped talking about it for the past two weeks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you know, don't you think mine was best? <laughs> <laughs> You're joking, right? <laughs> no, seriously, I mean, um, did you notice how many questions I got from the audience? Oh, yeah, yeah. And who cares if you overran your session by, what, 20 minutes? No, 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 guys. We must admit that his presentation was rather interesting. You see? Uh, uh. And yours, Lina, was very informative. I enjoyed your presentation a lot. I think you and Indra will make great lawyers someday. Thanks, Zoo. You know, it was actually fun working with Indra. Oh, so you two ladies are friends again, hmm? We were so worried about our presentation. We thought ours was the weakest. On the contrary! Inche Rustam actually thought that yours was among the best. Whoa! Let me hear, let me hear it again, Gus. <laughs> what do you say about mine? Um, it, it was, it was good. Just good. Why don't you tell him, Gus? As a friend, you owe him that. Tell me why. What? That, that's your answer? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well that I know. Yeah. Yeah. Um... How do I... How do I put this? Um, Try using words. Well, you see Marvin. Your presentation was... was... good. In fact, too good. What was wrong with it? It was too technical. You see, most of the fifth formers and even some of the sixth formers had no idea what you were trying to say. Too technical. Yes. Meaning that perhaps only those doing a diploma or a degree course in advertising would have understood what you were saying. You see, Marvin, for people like us who don't know anything about advertising, well, maybe your presentation would have been better if you use simple words. And whose idea was it to make it so technical anyway? <laughs> Mine, of course. Uh, oh. Well, you see, Lena's presentation, on the other hand, was, was simple and easy to understand. So you're telling me the ass was better? Yes, if you consider the kind of audience we had, and uh, I'm sorry, buddy. I tell you, Chaos, Marvin is such a drama queen. Why do you say that? Well, because he thinks that his career week presentation was the best. Good use of the possessive pronoun, his. But we'll come to that later. Are you jealous? No, I'm, I'm just a little bit, well, disgusted, yeah, but, but he's still my best friend. Why don't you all look at Marvin's attitude as a positive thing, <laughs> instead of a negative thing? <laughs> like a dry cell battery? No, positive, negative. Marvin was very sure of his presentation, which means he was very confident of his work. Which is a good thing. Yes. Wish I could be just as confident in my English. Think positive, my friend. Yes. Alright, let's move on with today's lesson. Uh, possessive pronouns, I believe? Today, all of you use possessive pronouns. What, what, what's happening to you? Uh, not, nothing. You're disappearing. Uh, I'm alright. Now, back to today's lesson. Do you know what possessive pronouns are? I know personal pronouns are words used to replace nouns. For example, if I said, uh, Marvin is my friend, Marvin is intelligent, instead of repeating Marvin's name in the second sentence, I could say, he is intelligent, right? Very good. Now, I, you, he, she, 
they are personal pronouns. But what are possessive pronouns? Well, possessive pronouns indicate possession. Let's look at the sentences that you all used. I'm sure you can spot the possessive pronoun. Don't you think mine was best? Marvin was talking about his presentation, so possessive pronouns must indicate possession or ownership. So the possessive pronoun should be mine. Very good. Now see if you can spot the possessive pronoun in this sentence. We thought ours was the weakest. Oh, that's easy. The possessive pronoun is ours. Good. Because Lina was referring to the presentation that belonged to Indra and her. Good! What's wrong? There's something happening to you. Uh, let's focus on our lesson. Both Zurida and you also used possessive pronouns. And yours, Lina, was very informative. Inche Rustam actually thought that yours was among the best. I, I know, the possessive pronoun is yours. Right again. Now let's look at a sentence that Lina made. Now, now, now guys. We must admit that his presentation was rather interesting. You gave me the clue earlier. The possessive pronoun is his because the presentation was Marvin. Here's another possessive pronoun that Marvin used. So you're telling me the ass was better? The possessive pronoun is there because Marvin was referring to Lena and Indra's presentation or their presentation. So it's there. Yes. Chaos! Whoa, chaos! That's it. Tell me what's happening to you now, or I refuse to do any more revision. So, you're telling me that you're being attacked by a new kind of computer virus. How did that happen? Well... Hackers have been continuously trying to get into our game site. And? A recent scan of my system has revealed that it is these hackers that have released a new kind of virus called Tarantula that is corrupting our program. So this Tarantula is slowly replacing your data with its own. Is there anything I can do to help you? Yes. But it's too difficult and dangerous. Chaos, it's because of you that my English has improved. I want to help you, regardless of the danger involved. Okay, well, this is what you have to do. Hey, Lena. I've been through a few sites already, and I think we have all the necessary information. So, which website is the best for our project? I think Marvin's suggestion to check the World Health Organization or the WHO website was good. He has so much information on dengue. Oh, well that's fantastic. That means we'll make a very good presentation for the class next week on dengue. Also, don't keep the information all to yourself. Tell us more. Well, this website even has up-to-date worldwide statistics on the disease and the latest research being conducted by the CDC. CDC? Is that like the CIA or the FBI? No, no, no Lina. It's, um, it has something to do with disease control, right? Though? Wow, Marvin! You are so brilliant! I know. CDC is an acronym for Center for Disease Control. It is based in the United States. It monitors and conducts research on all types of diseases found in the world. Right? Yes. Lina, is there any um, 
useful information on dengue in these books? There's too much. More than we need for our presentation. You mean the information's too technical? Yes. I wonder where is Gus? He's late. Yeah, I like that for a change. Now it is he who is late and not I. Ask and you shall receive. Guys, guys. I desperately need your help. Why? What happened, Gus? You need the meaning of an English word? That's not very nice, Marvin. Sorry. Gus, I am... So, tell us what the problem is. Chaos is in trouble and needs our help. Why was he arrested by the police? For passing off as a superhero? <laughs> Guys, come on. You can see Gus is trouble. Looks like I myself have to solve this problem. Hey, 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 hey. Look, sorry. So, tell us what happened to Chaos. He's been infected by a, a new kind of computer virus. And? His data is slowly being erased and replaced by this virus called Tarantula. Can't he go back in and repair herself? So, so what can we do? Let me get this straight. The only way we can help Chaos is by we ourselves going into just a game program and from there resetting Chaos's source codes. Yes. And good use of an emphatic pronoun, Marvin. You said we ourselves. Here we go. Here comes the English professor. Well, I was just trying to share what I've learned from chaos, but if you guys aren't interested, then... Yes, I am. Tell me about emphatic pronouns. Let me get my notebook. Let's put chaos's problem aside for a while and learn some English. First, I would like to start with what Marvin said. The only way we can help Chaos is by we ourselves going into just a game program and from there resetting Chaos's source codes. Cool, man. Huh? An emphatic pronoun is a pronoun used when we want to emphasize or stress on the noun. In the sentence just now, ourselves is the emphatic pronoun. Sorry Gus, I'm lost. Marvin said the only way we can help is by we ourselves getting into the program. So we is the noun and ourselves the emphatic pronoun because it stresses on the we. Absolutely. Meaning that we have to do it, and nobody else. We, ourselves. Oh, I got it. Good. Let me give you another example of an emphatic pronoun. Looks like I myself have to solve this problem. Hey, 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 hey. The emphatic pronoun is myself. Yes, myself emphasizes that I have to solve the problem. Next, I would like to show you all an example of another type of pronoun called reflexive pronouns. What's a reflexive pronoun? It's a pronoun used when the action of a verb refers back to the person doing the action. Zhu, you use a reflexive pronoun, but you made a slight mistake. Watch this. Can't he go back in and repair herself? So, Chaos is a male. So if it's a he... Oops! It should be himself, not herself. Oh, let me get my notebook. Hey, this is fun. So, if it's you, then it should be yourself. 
For example, in this sentence, it would be, Gus, you should do it yourself. Does that mean you're not going to help me, Lina? No, no, of course not. I, I mean, yes, <laughs> I'll help you. Gus, I have a question. Mm -hmm. I've seen sentences that use the word one to mean a general person mm -hmm. instead of he or she or they. For example, one must work hard if one wants to succeed in anything. So what's the reflexive pronoun for one? The reflexive pronoun is oneself. For example, in order to save money, one should paint one's house oneself. Gus, your know, English has come a long way. From by leaps and bounds, one might say. Aww. Oh, I'm proud to be your friend. Thanks, Marvin. Now you have to help me save chaos. This is what we need to do. Lena and I will go into the program. In the meantime, Sue, you have to log on to justagame.info slash entry. Hold on, let me get my notebook. Just a Info slash entry. What happens next? Three questions on English grammar will appear. You two will have to answer them. If you answer them correctly, a set of source codes will appear. Wow, that's amazing! We'll be like techno wizards! What are source codes? Source code is a programming sequence or a set of sentences that programmers use when writing any computer program or software. Yes, in our case, the source code will be a set of numbers and alphabets that will be generated if you answer the questions correctly. Do we type these codes in? No. You will need to give Lina and I the source codes. We will enter them while we are in the system. That will give Chaos a new set of source code which the tarantula virus will not know about. Thanks for taking me along, guys. This is going to be so exciting. Can't we use an antivirus program to remove the tarantula? In this case, no. You see, Chaos is not just the data from a computer program. He is physically here in our dimension and is too weak to go back. I... I must do this because he is my friend. He is our friend. Yeah. Thanks, guys. So, shall we? Let's... Let us go kill some viruses ourselves. Yeah! <laughs> www.justagame.info Marvin, we are in! They're in. Alright, here goes. Justagame.info slash reprogram Question number one. bring dash mobile phone so I lent her dash Marvin would you like to try it she didn't bring her mobile phone so I lent her mine Next question. Ali told Salma that dash essays were better than dash. Marvin? Ali told Salma that his essays were better than her.
got it. Final question. Here goes. The cat licked Dash while the dogs jumped into the river and dirty Dash. All yours. The cat licked itself while the dogs jumped into the river and dirty themselves. That is mental. I like her hairstyle. Here are the new coats. Well, let me take a shot. Tina, can you hear me? I hear you loud and clear, Marvin. Let's read the codes out nice and loud, okay? First set, YS278. 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 Seven eight. Three three LG seven. Final set. G J four eight two. G J four eight two. G J four eight two. Your new coats have been accepted. <laughs> yeah! Oh. Yes, you're all right. Thank you, Gus, Lena. My data is currently being updated and restored. I should be back to see you guys soon. Oh, we're just glad we can help you out. All right, take care. Cheers. You know, I taught my friend some pronouns the other day. Very good. See what positive thinking is doing for you? Cool. Were you in the refrigerator at the time? If it wasn't for Gus and his friends, I would not have recovered my data. Yes, and the entire program would have been destroyed by the Tarantula virus. Gus and the others care for you. Care for me? That's a human feeling. Thanks, Mentor. That was so cool. Cool? 